I'm Danielle Kernkamp. Here's what's making news this Friday morning. Construction on a new mall is expected soon after a decision was made by the city's planning commission to demolish the current East Hills Mall. The new City Lights Mall, a 358,000 square foot facility, will feature a movie theater, 11 major retailers, four smaller retailers, eight restaurants, and a new fitness center. No official names of retailers or restaurants have been announced yet. Developers plan to start construction immediately. They plan to have the mall complete by August of 2020. Well, today is Dia de los Muertos, or Day of the Dead. It's all about celebrating and honoring the lives of loved ones who have passed away. There are a number of events around town to celebrate the Mexican holiday. New to the local Dia de los Muertos scene this year is a celebration put on by St. Joseph Catholic Church on Baker Street. The festival features live entertainment, food, a free movie for the kids, skull decorating, and much more. That's all happening today at 4 p.m. And the Stallion Springs Police Department is asking for volunteers to help with Operation Adopt a Soldier. Community members are needed to help pack military care packages by hand today at the Stallion Springs Community Center at 5 p.m. Organizers are also seeking volunteers to help create and write thank you cards to be sent along with the care packages. Volunteers of all ages are welcome. And for more information, just go to our website, turn to 23com now let's get a quick check of your Friday morning forecast with Josh Sanders. Well, we're going to be warming slightly on Friday. Our air quality has worsened somewhat 75 and AQI of 75 in that moderate range. That's just because there's nothing really pushing any of the pollution out, but that should change starting next week. We're going to top out around 80 again today, Friday night football. Then in those upper 70s throughout really the next week, 77 for Tuesday, Election Day. You can get out there. Good conditions to get out there, exercise your right to vote. By next Saturday, though, 74 and then Sunday, 70. So we're trending towards those 60s slowly but surely into the following weekend, low staying in those 50s. For the Kern River Valley, a high of 80 today through the weekend. Then those 70s reappear to Ashby, your high of 75. 69, though, on Monday when we come back for the weekend. And then Fraser Park, a high of 72. Stay in those lower 70s through the weekend. And then 68 next Monday. Josh, thank you. That's what's making news in Kern County. Enjoy your Friday.